guy Dan the Wolfman, catchjitsu.com, Pancrase, Hybrid Wrestling, Catch Wrestling, okay? Talking about the top wrist lock, Americani, Woody Garami, uh, you know, a billion friggin' names for it, and all the variations. Gonna talk about a lot of variations now. Typical top wrist lock, step one, pin it to the mat. Step two, elbow him in the face, in the neck. Oh yeah, ref didn't see it. Step three, weave it in. Step four, pull it down to the ribs, stack it in, everything's tight. Step five, you can lift. That's the beginner way. In reality, you always want to just grab once you're better, when you're higher rank, whatever, and you're in a teeter-totter. The hand goes down the mat, the elbow comes up. It's about counter torsion, counter rotation. I'm stirring his joint. Boom, like this. So, while this is good to stack in, and big guys would tap right there, I'm really just, while I'm pulling it down the mat, I'm here. Or I can even lift my elbow, yeah, see his butt come off the ground? Because I was gonna rip it, like if I was gonna break it on the street, and I lifted my elbow above his ribs. Okay, see that? If I really wanna break something, I can break his forearm. I can throttle out, throttle out, pull this in, and eventually he's tapping already, but it puts up a lot more torsion right here, torsion. Right here, I can get a compound fracture on both bones. So this is dangerous. You really shouldn't do that in training fast. That would should just be a slow style lock. Boom, okay? Uh, roller lock style. A lot of times, I might just get this, like a praying mantis, and go in there. Sorry. Here. See? So when you're better, you can kind of learn how to play with stuff, even if I don't keep the hand on the mat. As a beginner, you should keep the back of the hand paintbrush style, paint this hand, Mr. Miyagi, down the mat. But when you're more experienced, you can just counter rotate the lock, okay? I might even get them deep enough here to grab the hand, and now I can V arm lock style, V arm lock, shooto style, and I like to just pull here, pull this down, and stretch. This is like a separator, it can break the collarbone, it can break the AC joint. I can even, here, or I can sit my hips out, or I can sit my hips out and drag. See, I drag my butt back. Some people teach that uh, style in sh uh, shooto lock flow. They'll come here with it, moving my butt back. Now, since I already have this grip established, I made up my own lock here, combination wrist lock and a bit of a shoulder lock, uh, the old catch key lock style. I'm gonna wrap, double wrap here. And now I got the wrist lock on him already. He's tapping to put your butt down. <laughs> and then I'll lift the shoulder as well. So he's tapping to the wrist lock, but eventually I can also be cranking that shoulder lock. So I'm here for the V-arm lock. Is there, whoop, I got this grip. And maybe we're fighting in here. I managed to get this on him. Now, I'm gonna try this. Let's say he was really flexible. I just had one of my students. His neck was super flexible in this position. So he actually wouldn't tap to this. Um, then you can insert key lock style. Grab your own elbow, shoulder. If you can see I'm already by grabbing behind my tricep. My elbow, it's gonna, if I, if, yeah. See, look right here, guys. It's a gooseneck wrist lock on him. If I pull that in. Sorry. Right. One more. So here. Now I got my base heavier on his chest. Now I'm not trying to tap him as much with the wrist lock as I'm rotating his shoulder. You see, so I can, I'm, I'm gonna get the wrist lock first on a lot of people, but I had another student who could put his hand all the way to like here. That's why it's good that it's a dual submission style. So all these uh, variations on this kind of top wrist lock are important to know. And you can all, you know, I talked about earlier, if I really wanted to rip it, I could lift my elbow instead of to his hip, I could lift the elbow here and rip this sucker. See him defending himself, lifting his hips. But I could, if I was tight and I ripped it here, things are gonna be breaking the shoulder and the forearm possibly. Uh, while I'm in here, sometimes you can even come in and put some pressure, turn it out, throttle it out, come in here, put some pressure on the throat while I'm breaking the elbow shoulder, sorry. So, there's some catch wrestling style for you guys. And of course, all these locks also work if I go to Kazuri Case and Katami, I just made a video on how to go to the Top Mountain Crucifix. All these locks apply here, Top Mountain Crucifix, okay? Uh, or if I went to a triangle uh, on his head and everything else. So I could do all these kind of locks. I could do everything from here, the Top Mountain Crucifix, okay? And if I needed to, set this up, boom, put them in the triangle, and then work. All that, even though I didn't fully get a triangle, 
So just keep that in mind. You can pull all of this stuff from the top mounted crucifix uh, and with the triangle as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Practice those locks. They're very dangerous, some of them, so go slow. And I'll catch you on the flip side.